guys, it's that guy with the movies back here again, and uh, we're going out and about again today. So uh, we're doing something a little bit different. We are going to a uh, pawn shop. So uh, join me, and uh, we'll see what I can find. So I'm back from the pawn shop, and um, this is what I got there. I got five things. Um, they did. They did actually have a pretty good selection of stuff. They had a pretty decent selection of TV shows, uh, Blu-rays. They had a, tons of Blu-rays, but nothing for DVDs though. Um, I couldn't really get a lot of footage in there because I didn't really know what their filming rules were. So um, there, there was the footage. So um, at least you got to see what was in there. So. I got five things there, two Blu-rays and three DVDs, so let's get started. Uh, the first Blu-ray I picked up there was Predators. Uh, this is the newer one from a couple years ago, I think 2010 maybe. Uh, just put these on the floor so you guys can't see them. So the first thing I got was Predators there. Um, this one has a really cool shiny slipcase. Uh, who's in this one anyways? I don't remember. Adrian Brody, Bones Fishburne, Topher Grace. Uh, this one is the Robert Rodriguez one. It's kind of embossed, the Predator right there, which is really, really cool. You still have the um, uh, regular Blu-ray stuff. So the movie and everything. Um, so there's the special features if you want to pause and read them. And then you also get the digital copy as well. They actually had quite a bit of like older movies with slip covers. Um, so just open this up. There you go. So there's the code, and there's the digital copy desk. So I'll do that after you guys. You guys won't be able to do it. I don't. I I can. I could probably use it. I'm not too sure if. Um, I'm not too sure if it was entered already, but I'll try and see. So you guys can have it. Uh -huh. And the next four things I got there were basically just Seth MacFarlane stuff. So uh, the first or the last Blu-ray I got up here was Ted. Uh, this is the unrated cut with the theatrical version also. First with uh, Mark Wahlberg, Mila Kunis, and Seth MacFarlane, of course. Uh, really cool slipcover. It's embossed. And this one you get the Blu-ray, the DVD, and the digital HD. So uh, again, I'm gonna have to see after if that still works. Somebody bought this at Walmart for 25 bucks, which is weird. Um, or not really weird because that's kind of uh, the average length for, or the average length, the average price for a Blu-ray. So there's the bonus features if you want to pause and read them. <clears throat> Take this off. Of course, Seth MacFarlane. Seth MacFarlane's very, very funny. And uh, the the time difference is uh, seven minutes. So the theatrical is an hour and forty seven minutes, and the unrated is an hour and fifty four minutes. So pop this open here. I'm sure you guys probably can't see that, but I'll try and see if this works. And then it's just adds most energy drink. Trends at holidays. So of course you get the green DVD there, and then the Blu-ray. So covering that up. Be sure to enter those codes so you guys can have them. Um, I didn't see Ted 2 there for some reason, so I'm gonna still have to try and find that. Uh, I think I might do like a Seth MacFarlane collection. So I need, I need the other seasons of Family Guy, of course. Uh, maybe I'll give American Dad a chance again. 
uh, Cleveland show, and then obviously Tattoo, and then Million Ways to Die in the West. So there's that one, and then this our God Family Guy Volume Three. Uh, this one was one of the only two kind of like big box ones I still needed to get, and then the other gray ones I still needed to. I still need to grab all those ones. But this is Volume Three. This is the second last uh, big box one I need. I still need Volume Six, but. They actually had volume 6 there, but it was damaged, so, um, like it was destroyed, so, this one was the only kind of Family Guy big box one I could find, and obviously someone had to have a sticker on there. You only get 13 episodes in this set, which is kind of strange. There's the special features if you want to read them, but that's kind of normal, so I'll just show you the discs here, so we've got a uh, disc 1. So, there's the list of episodes if you want to read them. So you guys can pause and read those if you want. There's disc 2. There's disc with Brian and Stewie. Then we've got disc 3. This one actually has the most amount of episodes on it. Which is kind of odd considering it's the third disc. Third disc barely has anything on it, anyways. And then there's a disc with Chris and Meg on it. So, nice set here. Uh, so, I forgot to mention the prices too. Uh, their DVDs were a dollar. Obviously, I was looking there, I was looking and looking and looking in, and I didn't find anything other than the TV shows and that. Um, they had a horrible selection for DVDs. I'm going to get the Family Guys out of the way, and then we'll go to the other kind of Seth MacFarlane thing that I got. I uh, got Family Guy Volume 9 right here. The slipcover is kind of damaged, but uh, it is what it is. So, um, I especially like the slipcover, though, which is really nice. It's kind of cut out with the magnifying glass. Of course, somebody had to have another sticker on there. But I kind of peeled it off so I could see how long it was. It's... Uh, uh, 301 minutes I actually couldn't see because the kind of the sticky gluey stuff was still on there so you get 14 episodes on this set and there's the special features you can pause and read those if you want so I'll take this off it's in one of just the gray cases so there's that and obviously three discs which is normal for Family Guy Found the guy, funny show, uh, uncensored and out of control, obviously, that's for the Cleveland show and Family Guy. Oh yeah, and I forgot, I still need to get the Cleveland show as well. I don't think I mentioned that. There's the other DVDs that are available. Um, this one I still need, and this one right here. And then uh, the other Family Guy, or Family Guy, uh, Star Wars specials that they did. So still got a lot to go. Uh, there's an ad for the now defunct Family Guy online game, which is kind of an MMO. MMO. Uh, Seth MacFarlane music is better than words. And an ad for some uh, Family Guy toys that you could get, um, which you could get kind of the Griffin House playset, and then uh, you would place the figures on the thing, and it would say a quote. So there's the list of episodes if you want to read them. Of course, there's a bunch of episodes. On here, a bunch of really, really good episodes. Um, of course, we can't forget Big Man on Hippocampus. Uh, Brian and Stewie, of course. So that's that. So obviously, you can pause, or you could have paused if you want to read those. <clears throat> I wasn't going too too fast, so so that's fine. Got volume nine. And the last uh, one I picked up from the pawn shop there was uh, Seth MacFarlane's Cavalcade of Cartoon Comedy, uh, uncensored of course. Uh, this, these were uh, kind of like shorts that he did um, a couple years ago, I think, 2008, 2009. So not really a couple years ago, but a long time ago, almost 10 years ago. But um, yeah, they're, they're kind of a collection of just like little mini, I think probably about one to two minute shorts that he did. Uh, it's only 54 minutes long, so I give anything to be in Seth MacFarlane's shorts, Stewie Griffin. So that was about it for the uh, pawn shop, and um, 
I didn't film in there, but I went to Walmart actually after, and they had all the seasons of uh, Family Guy there because they had like little boxes. They had boxes like up front by the cash registers, and um, they were because they had like three ninety seven movies, and then they had the eight dollar TV seasons, uh, which they actually had the other Family Guy seasons, the ones I actually need, like of the gray case ones, but they had no slip covers. Ugh. So that's why I didn't uh, buy them. And then there was other ones in there. Um, obviously, like the big box ones that were repackaged in the slim cases. Uh, there was just some other ones. There was uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And then there was Archer. Um, so that was my trip to Walmart. I didn't buy anything there. So um, this was the Pawn Shop Haul. So uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, Twitter and Instagram links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.